What's it going to take for someone like me to put some weight on? When you're walking seven hours a day, five days a week, you've already got a vast metabolism. What is it really going to take to put some weight on? Let's find out. Best of both bread, medium, um, used to have white, but there's not much calorie difference, so I figured I might as well eat healthy. Uh, on that, I like to have peanut butter, doesn't really matter what type, um, it's quite, quite a fatty, but a healthy fat, I think. Um, once I've had that, I like to normally have a granola type cereal, which is like a cheap knockoff, a lot of calories in that. Uh, sometimes I will eat, um, if given, fruit and fiber, or wheat or bix, or, any other cereal, so that's all good. Then with that, after that, I like to either have a tea or coffee. And of course, with that, I have to have blue top milk because green, red, all the others don't have enough calories in them. And then finally, I like to have eight tablespoons of egg whites with, don't ask me why they're white, two eggs fried. And, um, that comes to approximately 864 calories. I don't always eat this when I'm uh, on the weekends because weekends I'm doing other stuff. So this is strictly a Monday to Friday thing. Meal number two, we got crisps, Doritos, 150 calories. After that, I like to have two squares, not three, not four, two squares of dark chocolate. Some of the good stuff, got antioxidants in them, so it's quite good. And I, I do actually just eat two squares a day. And then after I've had that, then I have some dried fruit and some raisins. The white stuff, not the brown stuff. Uh, a lot of calories in pasta. Um, I've heard some people say it's healthy, it's not healthy. You know, but it's part of my diet. And once I've cooked it, I like to put on red pesto. Normally I put on a third of a jar, sometimes half. Now, in between my meals, you still need some more calories. So, this is where something like this comes in handy. San Miguel beer, 198 calories. Now, the evening meal is completely different. You know, might get out to eat, might have McDonald's, might have pasties, obviously they're quite fatty. Um, so, I can't eat them too often. You've got Tesco sweet and sour chicken, quite a lot of calories, 541, does taste good though. Got um, tikka masala, 648 calories, unbelievable. Stick, one stick of garlic bread I might have, that's 626 calories just for a stick of garlic bread, so that, that's a meal right there. Biscuits, and uh, if you were eating say five of these, 84 calories per biscuit, that's 420 calories in probably a few minutes. So I found biscuits um, is the way to go for dessert. Blue top milk per calories. Um, then we've got a cup of oats, because they're good for you. Then we've got one banana, 89 calories. After that, we've got some frozen berries, but you've got to allow like eight hours for them to defrost, or six probably out the fridge. Um, and then some spinach, because it's got some iron in it, I think. And then uh, finish it off with a little bit more peanut butter, not too much, just a little bit. And that makes my own shake, which I believe is 600 and... 23 calories that is everything I'm eating in one day and I do know that it's working because the results on the scales have gone way up so I'm pleased about that so all this talk you know of uh, eating it's making my stomach rumble a bit I think, uh, I think it's time for my next meal <laughs>